Hey guys, so today I am finally going into the closet and reorganizing my messy shelf and corner with all of my holiday decorations and like holiday storage. I've been mentioning about reorganizing the shelf and the corner next to the shelf for quite some time. I've been pretty much mentioning it ever since I did my closet makeover back in April for the past six months and now I'm finally getting to it today. And I'm going to try and get it all done in one day because it's really not that big of a project. It's just one shelf and then the corner next to the shelf that I also use for storage for decorations and stuff. So it's like, it's literally just one area in my closet. The only area in my closet that I have not reorganized or cleaned or anything in a really long time. I'm not gonna lie, like it, I don't even know the last time I tried to reorganize it, which is why it's so bad. And, like, I just shove things wherever they fit on that shelf just because, like, I know it needs to be reorganized and it's just, like, a whole project. So, like I said, I'm gonna try to get it all done today because it's really not that much. Like, I should be able to get it done in a few hours. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead into the closet and I'm just gonna show you quickly what it looks like right now before I start taking everything off of the shelf and everything out of the corner and just everything out of that whole area. Then I'm gonna do some light cleaning, probably, like, wipe down the shelf which is probably very dusty. And I'll probably vacuum the floor around that area. It's like whatever light cleaning needs to be done before I start going through everything and reorganizing stuff and putting stuff back on the shelf. Anyway, let's stop stalling and go ahead into the closet. I'll quickly show you what it looks like and then we'll get started. Okay, so this is the area that I'm talking about. Storage shelf and then this corner. Don't mind this pipe that's just right in the way so i also have this coffee table that's just been in here because i don't really have anywhere to put it it used to be in my room but it just got too crowded with it being in there so i'm kind of just like storing it it would be great if i could find a better place for that but i'm not really sure the main goal is getting this shelf reorganized and everything that's in this corner here i'm gonna start taking everything off of this shelf and everything that's in this corner and then we'll start organizing things a little better but yeah Alright, so here is the shelf completely empty. I just took everything off the entire shelf and everything that was in the corner back there and you can see like how dirty the floor is. Shelves aren't too dirty, they're just a little dusty. Like you can just see like how dusty the corners are around like where everything was sitting. So yeah, definitely want to wipe down all the shelves and just like vacuum the floor back here. It's not like it's gonna be that different because the floors are cement. Just do my best to get them a little cleaner than what they're looking like right now. So once I do a little bit of light cleaning to get the shelf clean and the floor vacuum, I'm gonna move into my room where I just piled everything and start going through stuff, trying to get rid of stuff, see what I can do to downsize and reorganize stuff. So yeah.
Okay, so here is everything that I pulled out of the closet. Everything that was on the shelf and in the corner. I'm gonna not really do anything with the Christmas stuff. It's basically just gonna go back on the shelf. Organize it a little better on the shelf, but I don't really want to go through any of this stuff since I'll be getting Christmas stuff out in a little over a month, so... But this pile going on over here is what I really mostly need to go through and especially like all of this random stuff I had on the top shelf. So I'm just going to start by trying to organize stuff into piles a little better and then just trying to go through stuff. So yeah, that is the next task. Okay, so I'm currently just trying to go through stuff and only went through one storage bin so far where I had like mostly fake flowers. Actually got rid of a bunch of fake flowers that I decided I didn't want anymore because um, honestly, I don't think I've ever even used them and I don't see myself ever using them. So yeah, I just got rid of like a bunch of random fake flowers. I've gotten rid of a bunch of those. Now I'm trying to go through a bunch of this random stuff that I have. Random things that I clearly just shoved them on that shelf because I didn't know what to do with them. I have a small storage bin of tools. Um, not very many tools because I don't really use tools that often, but I just have like a couple of screwdrivers pliers. I have a bunch of these things, whatever these are called. And that's it. I've just been keeping them in this little plastic bin. It's really not the best place for them because they don't really fit that well in this bin. It has gotten like kind of warped. So I need to find a better place for them. Also in that bin, I had duct tape and packaging tape. Don't know why I had those in there with the tools but shouldn't really be in there i don't even know i also have this bin of plants like grow kit plants i have a bunch of these little flower pots these little tiny flower pots little mini glass jars and then i also had these um giant candles up there um two of them i think i'm going to get rid of those as Ugh. So I just have a lot of random stuff like this that I need to go through. As for like the rest of the stuff I have, like I mentioned I don't really need to go through my Christmas decorations. And then over here I have my fall decorations which are literally out right now. Like the only things that are left in there are just like a couple things that I didn't feel like using this year. So I really don't need to go through anything in there. And the other bin is like Halloween stuff and honestly I rarely get any Halloween stuff out like I probably could get rid of a bunch of stuff in there because I don't really decorate for Halloween. I don't even really know why I have Halloween stuff because I don't really use it. I'll put a couple of things out like very minimal Halloween stuff out. I'll put out close to Halloween so it'll be out for like a week or two and then I put it away after Halloween. And then I also have a couple like Thanksgiving decorations in there too. So it's like Halloween slash Thanksgiving. So I probably could go through this bin. But other than that and all the other random stuff that I've been um, trying to go through right now, that's pretty much the only stuff that I need to go through. Then it's just like putting it back on the shelf and reorganizing it. So I'm just gonna try to keep going through this random stuff. I may or may not film it, I don't know. I've just been like talking to the camera for the past 10 minutes about 
all this stuff because I'm getting a little frustrated with trying to figure out what to do with it. Just try to figure it out a little bit off camera and then I might try to film a little bit. I don't really know. We're just gonna figure it out. Okay, I need to stop like rambling to the camera and actually do some work here. Okay, so I've been reorganizing stuff for a while now. I thought I would just show you my piles really quick before I start taking stuff back into the closet because I think I'm ready to start taking stuff back into the closet. I might have a few more things that I need to still go through, but for the most part, I have everything gone through and um, I got rid of a lot of stuff too, so that's really good. I have like a trash pile and get rid of pile. But let me just quickly show you my organized piles. So here are my fall and Halloween slash Thanksgiving bins. I did go through my Halloween bin and got rid of um, just a couple things. Still need to organize it a little better once it goes back in the closet. Then I've got some stuff over here. This is my basket of random storage bins that I'm not currently using. So they're all together in this one big basket. And this bin has mainly silk flowers fake flowers and like spring decorations and stuff so i did go through this a little bit and pulled out a bunch of fake flowers that i sh already showed you guys i was able to fit some stuff in there that couldn't fit in there before and stuff so that's more organized this is just a bunch of random small flowers and these are all my cactus wall decor usually have these in the kitchen but they are taken down for the season I already showed you guys my Christmas pile which I didn't really need to go through any of that stuff these plastic bags also have a bunch of Christmas stuff in them they're like big things that don't really fit in bins like this has a bunch of garland and wreath inside of it this has like all of my Christmas pillows <laughs> not the best way to store them but that's how I've been storing them for the past couple years. They just fit in these big giant plastic bags. I moved my few tools that I have into this storage bin. This was a little bit bigger than the other bin I had them in, so they fit much better in here. So that's much better. They fit better in there. Still looking for a place to put these things. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them. Still figuring that out. Then I have these little glass jars flower pots this jar is holding a bunch of pins i probably just need to go through them now i just need to figure out where everything is going on the shelves and just getting stuff organized better yeah so that is the next step in this little process so yeah <laughs> Okay, so I got everything back onto the shelf and in the corner. The corner's not looking the best. I kind of just set the two big plastic bags down on the bottom and set my basket of random storage bins on top of that. I kind of don't really have anywhere else to put that basket. So I'm just going to go with that for right now until I can come up with something better. It is like less cluttered. I did pull a bunch of like stuff out of that corner that I got rid of so like the only things in that corner now are those two plastic bags with that basket and the wrapping paper. The shelf is a lot more organized. It is just a storage shelf so it doesn't have to look perfect but I definitely wanted to get it cleaned up and just get rid of the clutter and stuff that were just shoved in there and I did like get rid of a lot of stuff too so that helped for sure and you can just see like there's just no more stuff shoved in places 
that shouldn't be less cluttered and just it looks better overall it's not like a huge difference but to me it is like a pretty big difference like it looks a lot better to me just way overdue for it to be reorganized and cleaned up and decluttered so it looks a lot better to me the only other thing i have to bring back in here is the coffee table that was sitting here i didn't really find another place that i could put that so it's just gonna come back in here for now but other than that um everything is done now so this project is officially complete i actually got done a little bit sooner than i thought um it still took me several hours to complete this project but, um, and it's only like early afternoon, so I actually worked a little bit faster than I thought I did, even with taking a couple breaks in between. So I was actually pretty productive and got this project done pretty fast. I hope that you guys still enjoyed this video and watching me reorganize this storage shelf and just this little area in my closet that I use for storage. Um, I definitely feel much better finally getting that project done after putting it off for so long. I don't know why I put it off for so long. It was more of just like me not really wanting to do it because it just wasn't that exciting of a project. So even though it wasn't that exciting, if you still watch the whole video, um, hope you still enjoyed it and come back and watch more videos because um, I will hopefully have more exciting videos in the future. And I definitely have other more exciting videos on my channel already. So you should definitely check those out if you are new to my channel. Um, and not subscribed already, definitely hit subscribe because I would love to have you part of my channel. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next week. Bye!